Good day everyone, today we will be presenting our technical paper entitled, Teradyne ETS 364 Test Data Log, Quick Analysis Tool. This paper is presented by the Trimax BSCPE LAM Dev Team. This presentation outline includes the paper introduction, methodology, results and discussion. Conclusion, recommendation and acknowledgement. To start, in semiconductor manufacturing, to ensure the quality and functionality of delivered products or ICs, parts are electrically tested using automatic test equipment or ATE testers. These ATE testers measures and test critical electrical parameters needed for specific design applications. One of the world's known leader manufacturer of these, tester, is Teradyne. Teradyne offers various tester model and one of these is the Eagle Test System ETS-364. This ETS-364 tester offers great IC testing capability for general purpose precision analog and mixed signal for high volume IC production. To continuously improve productivity and efficiency of IC test production line, testing yield are reviewed regularly by product engineers and test engineers. Each electrical test parameters are analyzed to assess potential yield improvements, or something went wrong during fabrication of parts resulting to low test yields. Proprietary software is used to analyze machine-generated log files in STDF or standard test data format. For ETS-364, aside from STDF machine file output, .log file is also generated. This log file or simply term as data log resembles a CSV format thus can be manipulated through C++ to perform quick data analysis. With this, the following are defined objectives for this technical paper to develop a light software that will be handy for technician and engineers with the following features. First a C++ program to display lot information such as lot number, operator name, test program and test program revision. Second is a C++ program to display test result yield and quantities of failing test parameters, and third, a C++ program to display statistical mean of test results reading for critical test. The IPO chart of the proposed software is shown, and the input would be the data log file renamed to tdata.log and the user selection option. The desired output is the display of lot information, test yield summary, electrical parametric limits, and test statistical information. To develop the target C++ software, shown figure is the generic application flowchart. Once the program is opened, the main menu is presented and wait for the user input for desired data log analysis option. Pressing 1 or option 1 will display test information such as test program, test program revision, machine number, etc. Pressing 2 or option 2 would display test yield and so on. The program will exit once an invalid option is selected by the user. The first thing that is to be considered during the development, the proponents reviewed how the data log is structured so the embedded data can be translated into an information. With the assessment, data log is data structured with a data pointer or locator on a comma separated value CSV format. This can be explained by analyzing the sample shown here in the presentation. Each data log line item starts with a data pointer and followed by a CSV information. In the example, data pointer 10 stores each electrical test parameters limits which include the test number, upper and lower limits, electrical unit of measurements, in the example V for volts, and the electrical test description. Shown here in the presentation is a table summary of data pointer and CSV information shortlisted by the proponent for future development of data log analysis program. After understanding the structure of a data log file, data in CSV format can be manipulated to transform into information. The mode of manipulation of data used in the development is the string stream C++ command. Presented as a chunk of code from the developed program. The program would initially locate for the desired pointer or locator, in the example pointer, 10, as previously discussed. This can be performed using C++ while loop statement. As shown, once the end of pointer or locator is detected, break on the while loop is executed. On the other hand, once the program is returning target locator, the program constantly storing CSV information into a defined string variable, testNum, tempString, lowerLum, upperLum, etc. These saved variables can therefore be displayed into the end-user console. 
Should computation be needed for these strings, these can be converted to integer or double variable as it was done for yield computation. To show how the final program works, the proponents will be showing how the program is executed. First, the target data log file with filename tdata.log must be copied into the root folder where the application is located. Once the program is opened, the main menu is shown and wait for the end user input option. The first option or option 1, allows the user to view the data log lot information. Here, the test program used, test program, machine number, the operator and the lot number are displayed. Pressing any character would return program into the main menu. Next option or option 2 would allow the user to view test yield summary. As executed, bin 1 air considered passing ICs while bin 5 through bin 32 are failed parts. In the example, 489 IC are tested good and only one IC failed on bin 13 or contact test. This option also shows test yield computed by the software. The option 3 allow the user to show the test upper and lower limit of a certain test. These test limits are expected nominal electrical measurements defined during design of an integrated circuits IC. As shown test number 29.1 with description of ILIM, our current limit accepted measurement must range within 1.6 amperes to 3 amperes. If measurement reads below or above these range, the part will fail in this test. The final option or option 4 will allow the user to view statistical parameters of tested parts. These parameters include the statistical mean of each test and its corresponding standard deviation. Here, the end user can quickly analyze if the population test reading is leaning toward the upper or lower limits causing the electrical to fail. If observed that the statistical mean is near the limits, sample testing can be executed into other machine and use again the develop software to check its statistical mean. Finally, the program is also simulated with other tdata.log file and as expected target information is displayed. This second log file is with 100% yield as all the IC tested passed on all electrical test. Moreover, as observed, selecting option 3, electrical test limits data are displayed. In conclusion, the software, Teradyne ETS 364 test data log quick analysis tool developed in C++ was able to deliver the program specification defined at the objectives of this paper. The developed software was able to extract lot information, statistical data, and test yields which are helpful in analyzing test information for both test engineers and product engineers. The proponents of this paper would likely to recommend C++11, supported IDE in future developments of this software. Since string stream command are string-based data format, converting these data are required into integer or numeric data type is necessary to do mathematical calculations. For newer C++ compilers such as C++11, it is equipped with STOI command which can easily convert strings to numeric type. Moreover, the proponents would likely to recommend including CP and CPK computations of test parameters for target log files. The proponents would like to thank the Onsemi Central Equipment Engineering team, proponents family and friends for their support in this project. Thank you for watching.